Okay, everyone bear with me. I don't really make guide videos, but we're going to check out an indie game, early access on Steam, called Never Return. It's got hardcore mode, it's a roguelike, uh, kind of looks like a phone game. Don't worry about that, we'll get past that. We got sweet stats, excellent systems. There's some runes you put in your... Well, that's a lot of stats. Hold on. Okay, we saw my rift boss. Alright, we're moving a little fast here. Looks like a skill tree. Whoa, a skill tree and a half. Let's see what we have here. Let's take a little deeper look. I'm gonna create your character. Roguelikes, you don't really want to die. You might lose all your gear when you die. So, plan ahead. Play careful. Uh, don't challenge the Grim Reaper. And when you do die, let's hope you have some of the soul shards saved up so you have a chance of keeping your gear. If you want a guarantee of keeping your gear, you gotta bind it at one of these statues. Got some new gear you don't want to lose on a run that's challenging? Just go down to a low level floor, zip your way back to a gold shrine, bind your item, no problem. It's also a good way to find rare crafting mats, or crafting mats specifically from bosses. See this guy here, I just summoned a little minion. If my minion gets stuck on the wall, like if I'm doing a minion build, I just push Control e and the minion snaps back to me. Very useful. More crafting materials, oh hey, what's this? An NPC. Random encounters all through this game. Excellent. He can work for me, uh, clearing the floor, or I can fight him now. For bonus experience, maybe a good item. A lot of stuff to find, a lot of random encounters, a lot of uh, just general fun. There's another event or encounter you can find, you'll see a lot of these. You click the crystal and it starts spawning waves survive to the end, and you can click it again to get a buff. You get to choose from three different buffs. You can trade no buffs to get more soul shards, or you can spend soul shards to re-roll. Find the buff you want. Here's a red item that drops. If you find these, they're even better than legendary, have an additional stat on them. All equipment can have these rune slots. You're going to want to find runes to put in there for cause and effect type bonuses. Trigger conditions that do all kinds of things. Every kind of stat in the game practically. And you get a wall of text to buff your character. Here's a rift boss. You find crystals. You use crystals at these to spawn a boss. The level of the crystal you use will dictate the level of the boss, and the difficulty can vary. These bosses are going to have a chance to drop unique items depending on the boss that's summoned. You spend those unique items on the skill tree directly to unlock special weapons. You spend them at the forge to create special skill gems that only go in certain slots on the skill tree and add another layer of customization and more depth to your actual gameplay. This hurricane gear here is a super rare item you can find that you can use to actually add rune slots to a legendary item that doesn't have any. So good luck hunting those. This Necromancer's Fear Doll is an example of that unique boss drop. That again, you can spend to make gems, or you can spend directly on the skill tree to unlock legendary weapons and level them up that are specific to builds. The blacksmith here you can find randomly, can add slots, change slots, reset the orange affix text on an item, or even uh, just level up an item to make it stronger very expensive. You'll want to save soul shards for that. Don't waste them early.
he can also salvage mid run for you as well salvaging will uh, get you your crafting materials and soul shards as well this is where you use the unique boss drop items with other crafting materials in hopes of getting a talent gem or just legendary quality skill gems and you'll apply those here in the beautiful skill tree this thing is where the game really shines where you find all your builds basically how you choose your class you can reset it at any time you get everything back even the unique items you have to spend to get uh, build specific special items you get those back too. The only thing you won't get back resetting is any soul shards you spent leveling up specific gems like this here legendary two-handed hammer specialty gem. Inserting one of those unlocks a whole new node full of uh, perks to level up. So here I'm gonna chase my way down the tree to unlock the special two-handed shield for the thorns build that takes a death lord's crown if i had more i could level the shield up even higher there's the shield on the weapon rack now i'm gonna go back chase my way down to the titan grip perk so i can dual wield two-handed weapons that's going to let me actually use a two-handed mace in one hand and a two-handed shield in the other hand, just for fun. And there you get a good idea of the many layers of systems that you can customize and tweak and min-max to your heart's const just endlessly. like and subscribe.